Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. I have an interesting question here. How do you find sine of minus 3 pi over 2? Well, first of all, let's draw this angle and find out, out, find out where it is. Minus means we're going to go clockwise. So this is pi. And then again, another pi over 2. So we end up 90 degrees. Okay. So here's my unit circle. And this is... Uh, 270 minus degrees, which is 3 pi over 2. Um, so the question is, how do I find sine of this angle? Because typically, when we have a right triangle, we say sine of the theta is whatever the opposite of a hypotenuse. But in this case, at 90 degrees, there's no hypotenuse to speak of. So what do we do? Well, we actually use generalized. Okay, At the ending arm, as the angle swaps around, when it hits the unit circle at ending point, it's a point on the unit circle and it has x, y coordinates. It turned out the x coordinate is always cosine at the angle, sine is always the y value. Okay, so for our special case over here, x, y, x and y value is 0 and 1. So obviously, sine of minus 3 pi over 2 is equal to 1. Okay. Now you might wonder why is the x value the cosine and why is the sine is the y value? Well, let's take a look. If we have a unit circle, let's do a easiest angle, the 45 degrees angle. Here's the unit circle. Unit circle is named so that the radius is 1. So every single point on the circle is one unit away from the center. center. One unit over here, here's my 45 degrees, okay? And you're looking at the sine theta is whatever you're looking at, which happened to be radical 2 over 2, um, over 1. So this is the opposite over hypotenuse. So this one is sine of 45 degrees is radical 2 over 2. This one is the y value here is radical 2 over 2. Okay, x value here is radical 2 over 2 as well. Let's look at another case. What about 30 degrees? Because 45 degrees happen that x and y equal to each other. Maybe it's not as a good example as a, I had thought. Let's go to a smaller angle of 30 degrees. Here's our triangle. Here's 30 degrees. Uh, 30 degrees hypotenuse is 1. 30 degrees has a special property in that opposite of 30 degree angle is half of the longest one, which has happened to be hypotenuse. Using Pythagorean theorem, you'll see this one is radical 3 over 2 because 1 minus quarter take radical root is equal to radical 3 over 4, which is radical 3 over 2. If this one is just a half of squared. Over here, so it's one minus radical underneath the one and a half squared. So this is radical two over three. So back over here, this distance is radical three over two, and this distance is half. Okay. So sine degrees, the the coordinate for this one is x equal to radical three over two, and y is half. Okay. Now you look at the sine angle for this one. Sine thirty is equal to half. So it happens corresponding to the y value. Okay, so let's summarize what's happening over here. So when you get an angle, yes, for 90 degrees, it doesn't make sense using the traditional um, opposite over hypotenuse. But each point on the unit circle, each point has a coordinate, and it's corresponding to cosine and sine. Cosine for the y, uh, cosine for the x value, and sine for the y value. All right, hope this helped. And have a confident day.